What's the word, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Sites, and I'm back today with another tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach y'all how to speed ramp your footage using the plugin Twixter. For this tutorial, we're going to use After Effects because I feel like, personally, After Effects will give you the best results when you're using Twixter, in my opinion. So I'm going to just drag all three of these clips over there, and we're going to start over there. So the footage that I'm working with is it's 24 FPS. So you don't have a lot of uh, frames to deal with here, but I'm going to show y'all some magic with Twixter. You find somewhere in your footage where you want to slow down. Let's say, uh, let's make a marker right there. And let's just play this out. So I'm going to slow down, up, you know, maybe when he starts to put his hands over his face. So come to effects, type in Twixter, and we're going to be using Twixter Pro. So you drag Twixter onto your first layer. Inside of your source control, you want to come down to in FPS and out FPS. You always have to match that FPS number with the frame for your clip. So you have to basically come to your project and look for the name of the clip. This one in my case is C0351. And C0351, 24 FPS clip, basically. So I'm going to basically take these numbers from right here in the frame rate area. And I'm going to punch it in over here. 23.5. 976 and now you're ready to slow shit down once you have your SPS set you want to come down to output control and you want to make your first keyframe at a hundred percent and then you maybe you can come about five frames or five frames to the right and then put maybe 22 or number through 30 I always do maybe like 25 or 30 and then I make my last keyframe about five percent so now, when I play this out, right? Sometimes if you don't like how it sounds, you could drag the keyframes back, you know what I'm saying? Stretch them out. And I'm gonna show you how you can transition this into another clip as well. And when you have your slow-mo looking how you want it to be, then you could do this. This is like a little speed ramp trick. You could make one keyframe that's the same value as your last keyframe, right? And maybe drag it up a tad bit. And you make one more keyframe at the end of your clip and make it about 200%. And it'll kind of speed into the next clip like this. So if you want to transition it in, you can come to your next clip. I'm going to apply Twixer Pro one more time. And then I'm going to come here to check my frame rate. 119.881. So I'm going to change that up here. And I'm going to continue on by uh, dropping one keyframe at the beginning of this clip at 100%. And I want to catch her like smoking this jet. I want to catch the smoke kind of leaving her, you know, so maybe put 22% over here, 30, and in the middle of the clip, it could already be at 5, and now this is where I say, the more frames you have, the better this will come out, to be honest, the more frames you have, the better this effect will look, this first clip right here, I'm going to highlight, I'm going to label this to be brown, this is 23 FPS, Versus 120 FPS. And that right there, guys, is how you speed ramp your footage using Twixter. So, yeah, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace out.